The House of Spoils, now streaming on Amazon. When an up and coming uh, chef gets an opportunity to open up a new restaurant upstate in the middle of nowhere, she takes up that opportunity. What she doesn't know that that restaurant, house, whatever, was owned by a witch, okay? And the witch had a interesting way of making food. Now you figure with this, it would be a pretty interesting, gory, even scary movie. No, it's not. It's kind of bland, dull and boring. And when it gets going, it's just not scary. What's more interesting is how the chef descends into madness. That's more the interesting part of the film as opposed to quote unquote, the scary stuff. Not what you might expect. 4.5 out of 10.